And I'm live, apparently. Yes, I think I'm live now. Hang out as live. Let me turn that volume down just in case. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I can't get the chat onto the video, which I wanted to do. I haven't got a fucking clue how to do that. I'll look into it for the next time I'm doing a hangout. This is only a short one anyway. Um, Anti-Fem Praxis asked three questions in a video and wanted people to answer them. Uh, sent me a tweet today. She said they wanted me to answer the questions. Okay, uh, there's three questions. I'm only going to answer two of them because I don't quite understand the second one. You know, I don't know where it's coming from. I need, I need more information before I can answer it. But the, the first question is, what is feminism, right? Um, oh, there we go. There, I'm starting to talk. See, now I need to go to YouTube, and now I need to pause the video. That's the delay. Um see and i've already been called a dick brilliant thanks for that jack uh jack 95 fantastic um <laughs> let's see i right, so what is feminism right uh feminism is a terrorist organization obviously because they use fear intimidation violence in order to get their political goals uh they are a hate movement whenever anyone asks me why i don't like feminism my answer is always the same I don't like any hate movements. Um, they hate men, obviously. They hate white men. Uh, more than men in general, they hate white men. They hate white straight men. They hate white cis straight men. Uh, it goes on like this, you know. Um, so it, it, they mix and match. Like they'll give they'll give black men a pass if they can attack white men, but they still hate black men. But just you know, uh, they hate women women who are not feminist they absolutely cannot stand them they're not part of the gang so they have to be ridiculed and mocked um i posted a tweet the other day right it was about le pen and i got a lot of hate on this tweet <laughs> oh, jesus um it was like hashtag french election or something like that and i put i went through the hashtag and i noticed there was a lot of women checked a few of the bios seen that they were feminists because they've always got to tell you that you know, it's that old joke, how do you know someone's a vegan? What did they tell you? Uh, just like feminists. And all these feminists really don't like Le Pen and don't want her to win, you know? <laughs> so I, I mocked them all, obviously, and I posted a tweet and I said, it's good to see all these feminists against the idea of a female leader. The same feminists who complain about a lack of women in politics, you know? Uh, now, I don't believe... If you're a feminist, you should vote for a woman just because she's a woman. I don't believe that. They fucking believe that because that's what they told me and many others all last year. I'm not talking last century. I'm not talking decades ago. I'm talking about at the end of last year. It was quite recent where they were saying, if you don't like Hillary or don't vote for Hillary, it's because of misogyny. Even if you're a woman, if you don't vote for Hillary, it's internalized misogyny. Of course it is course um and the, the countless on the street interviews the articles the the blogs and videos that said where feminists were saying oh i'm voting for hillary or you should vote for hillary because it's time for a female leader i don't know when it's ever time for a specific leader what when is it time what year is it time for like a, a dwarf leader you know when when is it time to have a leader with say green eyes i don't know red hair who knows but apparently it's time to have a female leader i don't know why um but they, th this was just at the end of last year they told us this so i was mocking them in that tweet saying oh you know they're not putting the money where their mouth are with their, their mouths are but this is what i'm talking about where they hate women they hate women who don't toe the line and you just have to slightly go off the line and they don't like you, you know, if you're if you're female. So they don't like Le Pen because she's right-leaning. So when they say they're all about women in politics, what they mean is left-leaning vagina lovers in politics. That's what they mean. They don't mean any women, obviously, but they give that impression. And then when you point it out, you know, and it's funny because they all, they all came back to me in that tweet where I said, where I made out they should vote for Le Pen. Um, they, they then attacked me and said, oh, we don't vote for them just because they've got a vagina. I said, that's not what you were telling me last year, you know? And then they were saying things like, maybe she's not good enough for a vote. 
<laughs> and it's the, that's exactly what I was saying about Hillary last year, and I was called a misogynist for it, for daring to suggest that maybe she's just not good enough. It's, it's bizarre that they then they then use the same logic that they were uh, avoiding at the end of last year. It's bizarre. Uh, and, and, of course, I'm getting uh, grief from this guy right now, actually, on Twitter. I'm sorry for the blinking. Do you know what? Look, I've just caught... I just got reading glasses. I just got reading glasses yesterday. And when I take them off, my vision still has to focus. You know, I'm getting old. You know, my eyes are not what they used to be. Um, aye, so this guy's giving me grief, you know, saying, oh, you can't attack feminists. Not all of them are like that in the fault. You know, not all feminists are like, oh, Jesus. He says, you wouldn't like it if, if feminists attacked white men for being rapists. And I, I had to point out to him that feminism is a group that you can choose to be part of or not be part of. White men? No, you're either a white man or you're not. You can't choose to be part. Oh. Actually, there's some people that think you can, that you can just choose to be black or white or you can't. You fucking can't. Okay, enough with this crap. You can't. Yeah, you can't choose to be a white man. You're either a white man or you're not. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? About pink caught my eye in the corner there. Cy Brav just put fifty dollars in there. Jesus. Is that for real? Thanks very much, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that's top stuff. See, I've seen um, a, a, a Missy J video and somebody put up $50 and it turned out to be, I don't know, fucking Mongolian dollars or something. <laughs> but that's actually US dollars. Jesus Christ, man. Thanks very much. I can't believe that. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. And he's saying, uh, I should read the comment. I mean, it's on the right thing to do. Uh, what got you interested in countering third wave feminism? Um, it's it's not just third wave feminism; it's feminism in general. They've they, it says, people say this, right? People always say, "No, feminism used to stand for something. It used to be a good thing." No, it's never been a good thing. Name one thing, just one thing, positive thing that feminists have done for women. Just name one positive thing, and of course, people will say, "Well, what about the the Equal Pay Act?" Well, that, that was the government that done that. You see. This is the, the logic, right? When you say uh, feminism is responsible for women getting equal pay, for example, right? Even though they, they still don't believe they've got it, right? Um, they say, uh, you say the government's responsible. They say, no, that was feminism. Okay, that must mean then that feminists back in the day who handed out white feathers to young men, some as young as 14, by the way, young men... Um, because they weren't going to war, that must mean those feminists are responsible for men going to war and dying then, right? Because that's what they were campaigning for. Or are they not responsible for that? The government are responsible for that. But when the government passed the equal pay law, feminists are responsible? No. Feminists have done nothing positive for anyone, let alone women. Jesus. So anyway, I've always been against uh, feminism ever since I was a young guy. And it's main, mainly because of the women in my family. You know, my mum, my aunties, my sisters, you know, cousins and stuff. I, I just, you hear this shit on the news. This is like way before the internet. You hear this crap on the news, you know. Oh, women get paid less than men. And I'm looking at the women in my family and I'm thinking, hmm, they wouldn't stand for that. There's no fucking way. Like my auntie, for example, there's no way she's going to go and work in a bar, right? next to a guy who's also working in a bar, same hours and all that, and he gets paid more just because he's got a penis. There's no way she would stand for that. That's how I knew from the, right from the early days, I knew that it was shit. I knew that it was bullshit. It had to be. It was ridiculous. And then when the internet came along, you were able to um, investigate more and easier because, you know, going to the library try to find out about um, the wage gap, <laughs> fucking useless, man. But I, I, I've always been against it because they've always been liars. They've always been liars. They've always been manipulators. Uh, and that still goes with this question, what is feminism? They're just liars and manipulators. And they, they walk this constant tightrope, which bugs me, right? It's like, choose a side of the tightrope and just ju just fall into the net, right? Just choose which side, but stop the tightrope walk, which they do. So they're, they're on a tightrope and they go, women are strong and then women are not strong. You know, women are confident, and then they're not confident enough to, to report rape or something, and then women are capable 
oh, now we need quotas. Women are not capable, you know. It's like, go and make up your fucking mind. Which one is it? Well, take whatever one you say. Strong, confident, independent. Oh, women are independent. Hang on, what's that about alimony? Oh, women are not independent. Make your fucking mind up. That's the thing. Make your mind up. We'll accept what you say, but you have to choose a side. You can't keep swinging from left to right, the left to right. Choose a side and jump off the tightrope onto the net. Sick of this crap, but that's that's what that's what they do. That's what they do. That's what feminism is. Um, hang on, I'm getting a few comments here. Let's see, see what people are saying. Uh, you're a legend. Please do more content. Thank you very much, Ben. Thank you. I mean, I don't. I, I don't. Sometimes, I, sometimes YouTube pisses me off. <laughs> so the, I get a lot of people saying to me, "Oh, you should have more subscribers," you know, uh, and they like my stuff, and it's it, it's good to hear that, you know. But I always think, hmm, I, how how come I don't have more subscribers? I don't get it. What am I, what am I doing wrong? I don't, I don't know. I know. I know I'm not doing it for subscribers, but I still think, Jesus, what the fuck? Thanks, Ben. That's, I appreciate that. Uh, and to, uh, that that's, a, that's a good point as well, Ben makes. I think Goodfell's motivation to hit this hard was to make the world a better place for his son. Having a son helped, but I was always anti-feminist way before. I had a son, but um, having a son does um, kick you right up the arse and, you know, make you hate, not hate them. I don't hate anybody. It just makes you dislike them more, you know. Uh, what do you make of Migto? Uh, it gets a bad name. I don't think it deserves. Uh, I think it's just guys, as Karen Strawn pointed out in a video the other day, it, it's just um, most Migto don't realise they're Migto. You know, they're just guys saying, you know, something, I can't be bothered with that. I can't be bothered playing that rigged game, you know. <laughs> you know, I mean, if, you, if you're playing a game of football, you know, and and you score a goal and the referee goes, no, that doesn't count. And then you score another goal and the referee goes, no, that doesn't count. And the other team looks at the ball and it's a goal. Eventually, you're going to go, oh, fuck off. I'm not, I'm not playing anymore. I'm just, no, no way I'm playing this game anymore. And that's what Mick to are. They're just not playing a rigged game. Can you blame them? No. If you've seen your dad going through a divorce, can you really blame them? I mean, and I don't even think it would help if the rules changed. If the rules all of a sudden became fair, I think men are at that point now where it's like, nah, nah. And they get the usual insult, they're not real men, you know, they can't get laid and all that crap, which is just... A load of shit. That's the thing as well. If it's a woman, if a woman says, "Oh, I don't want a man. I don't need no man," you know all that crap. She she doesn't get that like abuse. You know, like oh, you can't get laid or you're fucking virgin or whatever. People just accept it. But I, I don't have anything against Migto. I think they get, I think they get a bad rap. I don't get me wrong. There's there's there are some Migto, I suppose, who are a bit cunty, but um, but just like any group, these people need to be called out and. The thing with MIGTO as well is it's not a group really, is it? It's not really like a group you belong to, you know, like feminism, you know? Yeah, let's see here. Right, I'm going to, as I say, this second question, I'm going to skip it because I I don't know where it's coming from or what it really means. The question is, where do non-feminist people stand? Don't really know regarding what politics or regarding if feminism should end or whatever. I, I don't know, right? I don't know. If it's how feminism should end, I remember talking about this with Dr. Randa McCam, Skeptor. I think Just a Car was on the Hangout as well. We're talking about the magic button, right? I've got this theory about a magic button, right? Where if uh, Gloria Steinem, for example, had this magic button, and if she pressed that button, um, all rape would end. No more rape ever, right? She wouldn't press that button. In fact, quite the opposite. She would guard that button and protect it and make sure nobody could press it. In the same way, Al Sharpton, if there was a button and Jesse Jackson and the two of them are standing over this button, push the button, no more racism ever in the world. It all goes away, just push that button. They would guard that button and make sure nobody could press it. And that led somebody to then ask, uh, what if you could get rid of feminism? Push the button, get rid of feminism. And we all, you know, a bit of bickering went or whatever, or not bad, you know what I mean, just back and forth. And then eventually we all agreed that we don't really want to kill feminism. We want feminism to kill itself and die out itself. That's what we want. And I don't think anybody 
uh, would disagree with that, really. Uh, we, just, we want it to die on its own. But, you know, we'll help. You know, we'll, we'll provide the rope. You know, we'll provide the, the, the bleach for them to drink, you know. But we want them to, to do it themselves, you know. Um, so I, I don't know how to answer the question because I don't really know where it's coming from. But the, the last question is, what is to be done regarding feminism, right? What is to be done? My tactic has always been from day one. Um, I know the amazing atheist started all this feminist stuff. <laughs> but for some reason, years before I was making feminist videos, before he started it. Uh -huh. uh, but anyway, I, from day one, I've always thought the best tactic is to mock them. Just, just mock them. You know, they 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 already hold court, um, in the media, they in in the the colleges and education in the media, they they hold sway. Politics, you know, they 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 hold sway. Like you you try getting, you, you try getting a man into a, a, a an equality party. You know what I'm saying? Look at the abuse the man gets. He gets called a misogynist. It's just they just hold hold sway there. They hold sway in education. The, the, where they don't hold sway is comedy. Mock them, endlessly mock them. People start to realise, they start to pick up on it, they start to mock them as well. They see that they're mock worthy. My, my solution to getting rid of feminism is to just to mock them. Just constantly. Because how can you not mock how can you not mock people that say air conditioning is sexist? Just just earlier today, somebody posted something on Twitter saying, um, Calling it breastfeeding is uh, sexist in some way because it it says that women should be mothers. You know, it's like seriously, the thing that's been happening for millions of years is now it's not. It's not that. It's not that that's sexist. It's the term breastfeeding because it insinuates that women should be mothers, and it's like w women should be mothers. If women weren't supposed to be mothers. We wouldn't fucking be here. Oh, God. That's how can you not mock these people? So that's the solution for me is to mock them. Um, but that was, that, as I say, I can't answer that second question. I don't really know how where to go where to go with it, you know. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, first time I'm here for a good fellow live stream. It's not even going to last long. Oh, I say that. I always say that. I always say this won't be long, this video. And then it's like 20 minutes long, 30 minutes long. Um <laughs> good fella has a girlfriend he has put on a bit of weight and is eating more it's uh, it's called a dad bod anything else is offensive and um a misandrist actually i think you'll find it's dad bod that's the correct term um i don't have a girlfriend by the way um single and racist <laughs> that was a that was a thing i had on my twitter banner last week single and racist it was from the simpsons and uh some black women said, uh, "Look at look at his banner. He's obviously racist." It's like, oh Jesus, these people, man, can't take a fucking joke. But I, I talk about banner. That's another thing about, about feminists. With the, they hate women. I had a banner once. It was all these women with bikinis in the the Last Supper pose. And that, that see them. And this is my last Twitter account. See the amount of feminists that told me that was sexist. It's like so. I'm never at the point where because they hate pretty women, right? We're now at the point where men finding women attractive is sexist. I don't know how that works. But that's the thing about them uh, hating women. And the thing with feminists is they're, a lot of them are women. And any guy who's ever been with a woman will tell you that when a woman's in a bad mood, that's not enough. Everybody else has to be in a bad mood as well. And that's what feminism is like. They're miserable, they're unhappy, and I'm not trying to use shaming language, but most of them are fat and ugly. Let's be honest, it's, it's the truth. I think there's some that might be okay, but most of them are fat and ugly, right? So they're unhappy, they're miserable, and that's not enough. Everyone else has to be, especially women. So they try to, you know, and they, they, they try to scare women away from men. Oh, all men are rapists, and then try to scare men away from women. Hey, every time you interact with women, that's harassment and rape, you know? Men and women should band together and just tell them to fuck off. And I think that's happening. Slowly but surely it's happening. You know, hopefully it keeps happening.
But anyway, I'll leave it there for now. Again, th- thanks very much to, um, sorry, I forgot the name, uh, Cy- Cy Brav. I'm saying that right? C.I. Brav. 50 bucks, I can't believe that. Thanks very much, mate. I really appreciate it. Um, I, I put that on there ages ago as well, that money thing. I forgot that was there. Uh, you can donate. That's quite cool. Uh, so anyway, was this, would a nook strike on Glasgow improve Scotland? Uh, saying that, was Dundee nooked? Uh, Dundee was nicked long ago, I think. I think a, a nook falling on the SNP headquarters would improve uh, the planet. <laughs> but that's for another video. Anyway, thanks very much for listening, everybody. I'm going to go now. Until next time. And stop bro- Enough. It's, it's bizarre that they then they then use the same logic that they were uh, avoiding at the end of last year. It's bizarre. Uh, and, and of course, I'm getting uh, grief from this guy right now, actually, on Twitter. I'm sorry for the blinking. Do you know what? Look, I've just caught I've just got reading glasses. I just got reading glasses yesterday. And when I take them off, my vision still has to focus. You know, I'm getting old. You know, my eyes are not what they used to be. Um, Aye, so this guy's giving me grief, you know, saying, oh, you can't attack feminists. Not all of them are like that in the fault, you know, not all feminists are like, oh, Jesus. He says, you wouldn't like it if, if feminists attacked white men for being rapists. And I, I had to point out to him that feminism is a group that you can choose to be part of or not be part of. White men, no, you're either a white man or you're not. You can't choose to be part oh. Actually, there's some people that think you can that you can just choose to be black or white or you can't you fucking can't okay enough with this crap you can't yeah you can't choose to be a white man you're either a white man or you're not uh, are you fucking kidding me so, uh, about pink caught my eye in the corner there Cy Brav just put $50 in there Jesus is that for real thanks very much man Jesus Christ <laughs> oh, that's top stuff see I've seen them at uh, uh, a Missy J video and somebody put up $50 and it turned out to be, I don't know, fucking Mongolian dollars or something. <laughs> but that's actually US dollars. Jesus Christ, man. Thanks very much. I can't believe that. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. And he's saying, uh, I should read the comment. And I'm live, apparently. Yes, I think I'm live now. Hang out as live. Let me turn that volume down just in case. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I can't get the chat onto the video which I wanted to do. I haven't got a fucking clue how to do that. I'll look into it for the next time I'm doing a hangout. This is only a short one anyway. Um, Anti-Fem Praxis asked three questions in a video and wanted people to answer them. Uh, sent me a tweet today. She said they wanted me to answer the questions. Okay, uh, there's three questions. I'm only going to answer two of them because I don't quite understand the second one. You know, I don't know where it's coming from. I need, I need more information before I can answer it. But the, the first question is, what is feminism, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. There, I'm starting to talk. See, now I need to go to YouTube. And now I need to pause the video. That's the delay. Um, let's see. And I've already been called a dick. Brilliant. Thanks for that, Jack. Uh, Jack95. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> let's see. All right, so what is feminism, right? Uh, feminism is a terrorist organization obviously because they use fear intimidation violence in order to get their political goals uh, they are a hate movement whenever anyone asks me why i don't like feminism my answer is always the same i don't like any hate movements and um, they hate men obviously they hate white men uh, more than men in general they hate white men they hate white straight men they hate white cis straight men. Uh, it goes on like this, you know. Um, so it's on the right thing to do. Uh, what got you interested in countering third wave feminism? Um, it's it's not just third wave feminism. It's feminism in general. They've they, say, people say this, right? People always say, no, feminism used to stand for something. It used to be a good thing. No, it's never been a good thing. Name one thing, just one thing positive thing that feminists have done for women just name one positive thing and of course people will say well what about the the equal pay act well that, that was the government that done that you see this is the the logic right when you say uh feminism is responsible for women getting equal pay for example right even though they, they still don't believe they've got it right um 
they say, uh, you say the government's responsible, they say, no, that was feminism. Okay, that must mean then that feminists back in the day who handed out white feathers to young men, some as young as 14, by the way, young men, um, because they weren't going to war, that must mean those feminists are responsible for men going to war and dying then, right? Because that's what they were campaigning for. Or are they not responsible for that? The government are responsible for that. But when the government passed the equal pay law, feminists are responsible? No. Feminists have done nothing positive for anyone, let alone women. Jesus. So anyway, I've always been against uh, feminism ever since I was a young guy. And it's main mainly because of the women in my family. You know, my mum, my aunties, my sisters, you know, cousins and stuff. I, I just you hear this shit on the news um, and the, the countless on the street interviews, the articles, the the blogs and videos that said where feminists were saying, oh, I'm voting for Hillary or you should vote for Hillary because it's time for a female leader. I don't know when it's ever time for a specific leader. When, when is it time? What year is it time for like a, a dwarf? leader you know when when is it time to have a leader with say green eyes i don't know red hair who knows but apparently it's time to have a female leader i don't know why um but they th this was just at the end of last year they told us this so i was mocking them in that tweet saying oh you know they're not putting the money where their mouth are with their, their mouths are but this is what i'm talking about where they hate women they hate women who don't toe the line and you just have to slightly go off the line and they don't like you, you know, if you're if you're female. So they don't like Le Pen because she's right-leaning. So when they say they're all about women in politics, what they mean is left-leaning vagina lovers in politics. That's what they mean. They don't mean any women, obviously. But they give that impression. And then when you point it out, you know. And it's funny because they all, they all came back to me in that tweet where I said, where I made out they should vote for Le Pen. Um, they, they then attacked me and said, oh, we don't vote for them just because they've got a vagina. I said, well, that's not what you were telling me last year, you know. And then they were saying things like, maybe she's not good enough for a vote. <laughs> and it's the, that's exactly what I was saying about Hillary last year. And I was called a misogynist for it, for daring to suggest that maybe she's just not good. It, it, they mix and match, like they'll give, they'll give black men a pass if they can attack white men. But they still hate black men, but just, you know. Uh, they hate women. Women who are not feminist, they absolutely cannot stand them. They're not part of the gang, so they have to be ridiculed and mocked. Um, I posted a tweet the other day, right? It was about Le Pen, and I got a lot of hate on this tweet. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, it was like hashtag French election or something like that. And I, put, I went through the hashtag and I noticed there was a lot of women. Checked a few of the bios, seen that they were feminists, because they've always got to tell you that. You know, it's that old joke, how do you know someone's a vegan? What did they tell you? Uh, just like feminists. And all these feminists really don't like Le Pen and don't want her to win, you know. <laughs> so I, I mocked them up, obviously, and I posted a tweet and I said, it's good to see all these feminists against the idea of a female leader. The same feminists who complain about a lack of women in politics, you know. Uh, now, I don't believe... If you're a feminist, you should vote for a woman just because she's a woman. I don't believe that. They fucking believe that because that's what they told me and many others all last year. I'm not talking last century. I'm not talking decades ago. I'm talking about at the end of last year. It was quite recent where they were saying, if you don't like Hillary or don't vote for Hillary, it's because of misogyny. Even if you're a woman, if you don't vote for Hillary, it's internalized misogyny. Of course it is. Of course.